Most of these lectures are about the physics itself and not how to apply it. I'm going to look at application right now. This is a disc of silicon, very shiny. It's been polished, and you see it acts just like a mirror. Pretty good mirror, actually. Uh, what I want to do is the following. This is a 6-inch diameter disc that was uh, produced with an aim of etching uh, ma microelectronic, nanoelectronic uh, features on it for the, uh, the uh, computational computer industry. Now, in doing product control, you want to make sure that the material that you've produced here is as uniform in quality as possible. And one way of doing that is testing the local resistivity. So I have here what's called a four-point probe. This is a linear four-point probe because the four points are in a line. And if I put this in contact with this disc and I press down, you see that these are pogo probes that will squish when I push them down. Uh, if I do that, I can measure the resistivity at this area right here. And if I move it across the disc, I can plot how the resistivity varies with position. Now, I'll show you a, a four-point probe that I've used in my own research. This is one that we manufactured here at St. Lawrence. And you'll see, again, these four-point probes now in a square formation. They are also pogo-type electrodes, which will compress if you push them. Uh, and I can measure with these four, if I have the specimen underneath them, I can measure the resistivity. I can measure a quantity called the Hall effect. And if I put a light-emitting uh, diode and a light-detecting diode across here, I can send light through here and see whether or not it transmits. I've used this rig for looking at magnesium hydride. If I put magnesium in a low hydrogen atmosphere, it will absorb that and become magnesium hydride. It goes from being a shiny metal to becoming a transparent insulator. And by tracking all three of those quantities, I can track what's going on in that material.